I'm Sarah Jeffrey, and you're watching Hollywire. So tell me a little bit about Maggie. Okay, so Maggie is the youngest of the three sisters. Um, she's really sort of fun-loving. She cares a lot about her sisters. She's the most, I think, easygoing of them all. She's just, she's, a, she's bubbly, and she's been a lot of fun to play. She's rushing a sorority, and it's been a lot about finding that which life balance. She just came into this new power and this new phenomenon, but she's also trying to balance like having a social life. So that's been interesting, and I'm sure I could relate to that if I were really a witch. But she's also she's also very empathetic, which is sort of a testament to her ability to read minds, um, and that's sort of a storyline that we will be following throughout the season. Were you really excited about the fact that she could read minds or were you hoping she could maybe move things or pause time? I, I was very excited about that because I've, I'm very much an empath in my own life and I feel like that's sort of the closest power to empathy, you know? Just being able to read people's energies even is something I feel like I can do so the next Thing would sort of feel like it would be reading minds. So it was very exciting. I mean, I can't really read minds, obviously, but yeah, getting to play that character and that power has been really, really fun. What is that like on set when you have to read a room full of people's minds? Are you, is it, are you just like running around like? We've done it a few different ways. So I've had, I've had people read all the lines off camera for me. So it's like a gaggle of people talking all at once. Um, I've had like a little, like spy sort of sized earplug that I'll have someone speaking the lines to it and I'll just leave a gap and sort of use my own imagination for the line so we're trying we're still trying to navigate what the best way is to do it but I think we'll we'll figure it out with time and then what is it like on set with your on-set sisters do you guys have so much fun Are you guys goofing around a lot we have so much fun I mean we've been working really long hours so I, you sometimes get to a point in the night where you're just like a little bit delirious and that's when like all the funny jokes come out and we're like like belly laughing and Rupert Evans who plays Harry is also just a hoot. He's hilarious. So yeah, we've been having a lot of fun. What is maybe the funniest or has there been a prank on set? I feel like we haven't had a prank yet, but I've always done this thing on sets where I try to clip clothespin. Yeah. Yes, where you try to clip them on someone without them noticing and get as many as you can. So I think that's a game I'm going to start doing on set, but don't tell them. Did you just figure that out right now? I was thinking about it. Okay. But now that you ask again, yeah. I'm definitely going to. Shh, we won't tell anybody. And is there anything from set that you want to keep or maybe you have kept? Oh my god, my wardrobe is ridiculous. Mandy Line, who's our costume designer, is just like so incredible and she gets our characters on like a whole other level. And so I've been having a lot of fun just help like collaborating with her and she creates the most amazing looks and we just do tweaks here and there. And I mean, some of the stuff I'm wearing, I just could die for. So hopefully I get to keep some of it. And how much input do you have in your character's look when it comes to clothing, hair, makeup, the whole do? They've been pretty great with letting us have you know, put in our two cents. Um, they definitely won't make me wear anything that I feel super uncomfortable with. Um, but then again, I understand it's the character and it's not me. So, um, yeah, it's been a nice balance of just having their artistic opinion and getting to tweak a little bit here and there. And if you could have a power in real life, what power would you pick? Oh, I think I'd want to fly. I've always thought that that would be a very cool sensation, so. And it would save you money on traveling. No, money and time and gas. It's very eco-friendly. What is it about your character that you absolutely love or maybe something that you don't love? I love that she is a girly girl and she has that social life, but she's also really smart. Like she's not your stereotypical ditzy sorority girl, which I think is such a common misconception. I love that we're playing her as a smart girly girl and um, intelligent and caring and empathetic. Um, she's very layered. And do you guys get to hang out offset and go out at all? We haven't had much time to do that just because our schedule has been so crazy, but we definitely have had like dinners every now and then when we have like a slower week. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to take, I'm from Vancouver and that's where we shoot, so I'm excited to sort of take them around. Like we have some really beautiful hikes and yeah. So you get to be tour guide. Yes, I get to play tour guide as well. I can't wait to see the show and thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.